Welcome back to my channel guys, hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar here again, back with another video. And today we're gonna be showing, or I'm gonna be showing you guys my um, chip collection. So basically, I believe it's been about uh, like a year and two months since I started collecting this stuff. And um, I mean, I've made the videos on the, on the channel about little chip collection updates. I think I've done like five or six of them, but I haven't done one in a long time. Um, simply because I, I, I don't really know why, but I can tell the amount of chips that I had then, there's way more than that now. So, um, then let's preface this. Um, this is no way in like trying to flex of what I have or anything like that. There's more so just trying to show the hobby and kind of share with you guys what I've been collecting because I know there's a bunch of people on places like PCF and Chipboard and all over the world that collect this stuff so it's cool to see what other people have it's cool to see what you have yourself and it's just cool to see in my opinion just to share with others so um, let's get into it I hope you guys enjoyed the little b-roll at the beginning or I might put it in now who knows but enjoy it and uh, we'll get right into it okay so I basically have them set up here on my table I have two boxes um, boxes like these that are filled with chips and airtight so those are like my singles and then I have um, about two, three, three and a half uh, racks of some TRKs. Then I have like a half a rack almost of other TRKs and then kind of just other singles and other quantity ones that I have. So um, let's get into it. Let me swap the mic around and then we can look at this stuff together. Alrighty, so we're here and this is basically what you guys saw in the beginning. Got the two boxes right here filled with air tights. Then we got the quantity stuff over here, a little bit more quantity stuff here, and then we got some singles here, and then this really cool Dunes $500 Bakra um, paperweight that was given to employees. So um, let's begin back here. So these are going to be um, some hotel, uh, I believe it was in Placerville. Let me see real quick. So we have uh, hotel chips that are from Marysville. California and then the RT chips are from round tent in Placerville so we got a rack rack and a half of the hotel ones then we got two racks of the RT round tent uh, card room from Placerville those are pretty nice these are really I mean they're used but I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with them they definitely need to be cleaned um, so that's probably a project one day and then these hotel ones are pretty nice. They they definitely need to be a little bit clean too, but um, they're in good shape overall. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with these two yet, but we'll find out. Then over here, we got some uh, like Nevada Lodge chips. Oh, let's do this. So we got King's Crown, we got one Money Tree, and then we got some Nevada Lodge Fives in that row. In this one, we have... Stanley's Dealing School Chips, these red and green ones. Then we got a couple Palace Club ones, all TRKs. Uh, let's see, then we got some Joe's Hawthorne 25 center TRKs. These are pretty nice. Now all these chips, like all these chips in this, this wooden rack right here, um, they're gonna be like early 60s, mid 60s, stuff like that. So Joe's Tavern 1s from Hawthorne, those are pretty nice too. And then I believe these Jerry's Nuggets here are from 1964. And these are some of the heaviest TRKs I've ever felt, so I kind of like those. I definitely want to finish a barrel of these someday, and these, and these, if I have the chance. And possibly these, I like these Palace Club ones too. Um, then we got some Derby Grand 25s. Those are Paulson Fantasy chips. We have, um, I believe there's two or three different types of Carl's Silver Clubs, or just two, two that I have here. So got a little bit of those. We got some Arizona Charlie's 50 centers here, a couple more here. Um, Resorts at Summerlin 50 centers here. Then we got a Rancho Mesquite 25 center, a couple Silverton 25 centers, 
Um, about a barrel and maybe three extra of Toady Gone Dealing School chips here. And then these are all kind of stuff that I wanted to keep that I got in quantity too. Uh, we got some Barbary Coast 5s, 1s, a Mapes 5 I was looking for a while, Overland 25 I was looking for a while, George's Gateway I actually got f as a gift when I bought this chip from um, Steve, who watches my videos, thank you to him. Uh, Bellagio 5, that's my second one. This was in kind of worse condition than the other one that I have. Then we got an MGM 5. Kind of want to get the whole set of MGM 5s. Um, Casino Royal 25 Center. We got a Paris Chaton here. Palace Club $25, uh, large crown that I just recently got. Calneva 5. El Rey 1 and a Caesars Palace 5 that I got from my boss, thanks to him. Um, Dunes $500 Bakra. This is what I believe was given as a gift to um, Dunes employees when they retired or when the place closed. I've only seen one or two of these, in per not in person but online, so that was definitely fun to get that one. Then we have these two boxes filled with air tights and then some out of state uh, foreign stuff and just more chips and air tights. So um, then I have like an Excel sheet here. Uh, basically shows how many chips I have. I believe it's like five. I think it might be close to like 550 or so, but. Um, definitely some good stuff. And like I said, this was no way, like, supposed to be like a flex of a video or anything like that. More so just to show other people what I have, um, what I've collected over this past year and two-ish months that I've been collecting this stuff. And yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot and I didn't expect to get this many so quick. But hopefully, you know... Or you know what, here, let me pull some out, some some out of these air tights. I'll pull out some of my favorite ones, so give me one second. Okay, so I got my favorite ones pulled out, and um, they're just in this stack right here. Um, we'll go through them, like, one by one. So, um, I have both versions of the Dunes 1, um, the actual Dunes 1. So, there's this color, and then there's just a little slightly lighter blue one. Um, then I have these new chinas. These are like probably as close to mint uh, new chinas as you can get. So you got this one. Then you got the one with the denomination on the back side. Um, new China 50 center. Pretty nice colors on that. Stardust 20. Really like this one. Then I have these uh, Riviera 5 Bakra. I know a lot of people like these. These are pretty nice. We got one. Then we got this one as well. Um, then we got this old school Flamingo 2 Roulette. Got this on eBay for quite a steal. Um, I don't I just like this one just because how old it is. And you know, it's old vintage Vegas. So there's that one. Then I also have a Cancel 25. Kind of similar era, but not. Um, I can't remember which one is older, but definitely these two flamingos are pretty nice. Then we have a Bourbon Street 5. like this one just because of the color and the hype around these things recently has been insane, so happy to have one myself. Um, then I have the whole Caesars Palace Grand Prix chipset. Now, um, I know many people don't know that these chips are even out there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they were made in the first place, but... They were made for the F1 uh, rally or the F1 race that was at Caesars Palace on October 17th of 1981. So there's this one. Then there's a yellow one. Then there's a green one. And an orange one. All these chips are basically... I, I've never seen actual chips like have these colors, so I think these are just like made for commemorative sake. Um, then we have a first edition Tropicana $25. Really like, um, I don't know, these are pretty rare, I guess. Um, then we have a Tropicana 5, similar era, first edition. 
then we have a Mulan Rouge 25. Um, both of my Mulan Rouges are cancelled just because the non-cancelled ones are so expensive. So, $25 can-can, pretty nice. And then we have a $5 can-can that I got from my buddy Chris. Then we have a Nevada Launch 25. Really like this one as well just because it's like a... Um, purple and Nevada Lodge, Nevada Club, pretty similar history, and really interesting history if you watch my video I did about those two places. Then we have the Nevada Lodge 5, really like this one too, similar style to the other one. And then we have, I think by far my favorite chip that I have of all, which is going to be the Nevada Club 20. Um, now I know these are pretty sought after as well and people will pay quite a bit for so I'm um, really happy to have this one too. Um, one thing that makes these chips unique from any other chip I guess you could say in the TRK world or just in chips in general, you don't see many chips that have this many colors going on. You usually have um, one or two or just one and then you have edge spots but you don't have four different colors for the chip space itself so that's pretty nice. So. Um, yeah, that's basically gonna wrap it up on that. Um, basically just, what is it, five, there's almost six, close to 600 chips in a year and two months of collecting this stuff, so, um, I guess you could say it's an addiction, people on the internet, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm addicted to it, I've definitely started to slow down over the past month or two, but, um, there's definitely people say that you know once you get into it you get sucked into it and that's no joke so um here's the proof i wouldn't say proof of i'm an addict or anything like that but hope you guys enjoyed watching the video um maybe some of you guys i'm sure there's plenty of guys out there that have way bigger chip collections than i do but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did um let me know and it's been oscar and i'll see you guys in the next one peace and I'm